Hi everybody and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. I'm Tom Solid and today I will talk about Miro. So if you're looking for the standard mind mapping way with all the branches going out just to scribble down something, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm really talking about how I create my concepts like the iCore framework, everything was created inside Miro, how I integrate this with other tools because Miro is just to get the idea of the concept and all this, writing down workflows, but then it goes into my single source of truth for knowledge, which is Notion and how this works. I will show you now. All right, I showed you already some videos about Miro, especially the ones where I showed you how to use Miro on iPad. And like for Notion, I am able to use this tool on any device. This is the big advantage of these tools because I hate it if I'm disconnected from my information in a time when I need it most. Here we are on the dashboard section and now you see here I'm really using it. There are so many dashboards that I created and organizing things in Miro is a mess. Let's face it, you can create some projects on the side, but this is it. I cannot add any tags or anything. All I can do is search for iCore, for example, and I will find the boards. You could give them name conventions to make easier to find them. But how I do this actually, I embed these boards into my knowledge management system, which is Notion. And many other tools like Coda and also ClickUp, they allow you to integrate, integrate Miro boards and this is another reason why I'm using Miro. But now I want to show you how I actually came up with the iCore concept that I'm teaching in my inner circle. So the very first thing that I did here, I created a Miro board and I was thinking about, you know, productivity system. This is all about input and output. No, wait, there's also a section, you know, where you organize things. You need to get organized. And then I made some quotes here the way I said, you are not productive by simply collecting information. You are not productive by simply organizing information and you are not productive by simply being busy, which relates to these three things. And I know that people join and struggle with a lot of things like only doing input, taking notes all the time, but then don't finding the notes, being busy organizing all the stuff, but still have no idea where to write it down once you need it. You know, you get a phone call, where do I write this down now? And we have the output thing where we do things that are not important, that are urgent, but not important. So I have a productivity guide actually talking about the Eisenhower matrix and so on, showing you more details about this in the inner circle if you want to turn there. So here I added my productivity guide, effectiveness and efficiency, the secret ingredients of productivity. And then I came up, well, there's one thing missing, which is the refine part. And this is when I came up with the iCore. Okay, it's input, control, output, refine. And refine is actually workflow optimization and automation that we do once we have a system in place. There's always room for improvements. And this is what we, is what we do in the refine part. All right, and then you see, I can always connect these with the different arrows to my different blog posts where I thought, oh, this is related. I already have content for these different things. And this also allows me now to plan out more content. The map that you see here is when I came up with the concept. This is more than six months months old and this was the first drafting of the icon. Here for example, I was scribbling something down that I had in my mind, input control, output refine. This really reminds me of lifetime circle of a project. So you start collecting information, then you try to control it and you output and finish the project and then you have a lessons learned in the end of the day. The issue I see many times is you do the lessons learned but then a new project starts and the lessons learned is not integrated in the next project. This is why we need to really Really get this into a single source of truth. The lessons learned needs to get into a single source of truth so others can leverage from the knowledge from there in order to use it in their next project. If you do this process properly, then this is called continuous improvement. And as I said, this was scribbled down on iPad, but I was able just to drag it in and I have it there. And I was sending it out to a designer who should now do a proper image. And here I started to set up my iCore system and try to connect this. This was the idea for the landing page where I think people are overwhelmed, scattered information all over the place and now it's in here. This is so good because I have an infinite canvas. Here for example, I was preparing for a masterclass where I was talking about meetings and single source of truth and you know the different types of tools that people should use and can use and workarounds and all this and this was the drafting for my actual presentation. So I was copying this information and into my PowerPoint presentation that I used there. Then inspirations as well, like the second brain 
Tiago Forte has some great concepts when it comes to no take. So the I-Core is just a part. I always say second brain is more like the input and control and I'm going more into the direction output and refine adding this because I see the end-to-end -end productivity system, team-based work and all this. Um, so I got some inf inspiration from Tiago as well and this is the advantage that you can actually paste videos in here when you click there. This is from Ali Abdal explaining or oh, has an interview with Tiago Forte. I can click here and watch the video in here and take some notes out of this or make take some timestamps that I can put here in order to go back there. If you're interested how everything works together, as I said, there's an online course for my Inner Circle members. If you join there, I will show you in detail another map where I made notes on Miro watching a three hour course that is available on YouTube and making all the different notes and the cross connections and building up the whole mind map. I also have client work in there. So if I work with a client directly, we usually start creating the business process, writing down what are their workflows actually in their business before we even think what tools work best for them. And this is done in Miro because it is also a collaboration tool. It's so easy to get people in there. So if you're interested in this, feel free in the inner circle to reach out to me. I can give you some demo there. And I just want to quickly show you how this looks now in Notion. So when we are in Notion, I can now go, for example, to iCore. Okay, and then I go to my concept iCore and if we go down there, I have a mind map and you just see here the embedded mind map, the thing that I just showed you just shows up in, you know, with structured information that I started then to write out from this and then I'm referencing and I showed you this in another video referencing to a book that I'm writing on right now and here on the book, I have the backlink where this was mentioned, the book, which is in databases concept. So I look there and I jump back where this was mentioned, it's highlighted. And down below is the mind map. So I can even, without opening the map, I can edit the map in here. So isn't that awesome? This is how I then manage my knowledge of the mind map. You also can add links inside these mind maps, link out to other mind maps, to other sources inside Notion, so you can really start cross-connecting this. If you think this was useful for you and you liked the video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel because we will talk a lot more about knowledge management, task and time management, and so much more that makes you not only more productive, but more importantly to me, more efficient. Catch you up next time.